Hey guys, everyone. Um, this is again Veronica on, yeah, with my character journal for Carrie. Um, on your favorite pantry, we're doing a swap posted by LMB on your favorite fictional character. And she had chosen the Cheshire Cat um, specifically and was okay with Alice in Wonderland. So, um, this is my absolute positive final time. I promise I am 100% totally completely done. Like, I'm going to stick it in the mail um, as soon as I can. I'm probably the first because I want to try and pick up some extras and send them to you, Carrie. We'll see. Um, but here are my little charms. Um, a little, just little Tim Holtz bottle. Here is a little key. And then here is uh, a little teapot. Okay. And then here are some of these fabulous little red fibers I found. Um, here is Alice Memories. I'm hoping you'll be able to put lots of memories in here. Um, I'm going to kind of just do a really quick flip through because this is my second video. Um, but this is the final one because I'm completely done. I'll just show you the new stuff. So I added some bling here. And that is new. Um, and I tea stains like an extra 36 pages. So there should be a number of journaling spots for you in here, Carrie. Okay. And uh, the thing, anyway, new on here is this little quote here on the top. It says, no, impassable. Nothing is impossible. Because that is what the door is telling Alice in the movie. And on the back, I just backed it with um, a page from the book. Instead of just leaving it white. And then this one here, too. Read the directions and directly you will be directed in the right direction. <laughs> and again, it's just backed with a page out of the book. And Carrie, I will go ahead and send you the leftover pages and a couple of the images I didn't find or didn't particularly want to stick in here that you are more than welcome to. And um, I added some fibers to this little card here. And I also backed the card with some tea stain paper. It's a lot easier to write on than the back of the card that it was. Again, it's just uh, a little pull out that the mock turtle is telling. And then all of these are just wonderfully blank usable ones. Okay. And here's the pocket. I added bling on the pocket and I finished the cards. Um, Fussy cut this out, stuck it there. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat, how I wonder where you're at. Up above the world you fly, like a tea tray in the sky. <laughs> I just love it. They're shoving the poor little dormouse in his little pot there. And there's Alice and her kitty. And what is the use of a book, thought Alice, without pictures? It's actually without pictures or a conversation. But uh, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to fit it all on there, and I stopped. So. And then this right here is all the same. I added a little bling here. And that everything is the same. There's more tea stain paper. Um, I added a second or a pocket here, added some bling, and I again I backed up some tea stain paper. And same with these images. There's the tea stain paper. Oh, sorry, so you guys can see that. Tweedles and Alice. I love the Tweedles. I think they're just, they're adorable. They remind me of my brothers. Okay. Um, I didn't do anything new or different to this page, so I'll just flip through it. Added a whole bunch of tea stain papers. Um, second little pocket. I just put some bling on it, and here is just some plain tea stained um, cardstock tags. That you can do it as you would. And then just extra pieces, so stuck them in there. Um, here's the Cheshire Cat. And the thing new on here is um, I backed it with tea stain paper. And then I also made up these two little cards. And I made it wonky deliberately just so it was, you know, more Alice in Wonderlandy. Okay, here's this one. Tea stained again. The tea stained cardstock, so it's pretty pretty sturdy. Let's just go back up in here. Show back up the tree with the cat. Okay. Um, I just added a little piece of fiber to the Jabberwocky poem. 
And then with all of these cards in here, I added fibers to the tops of them, and I also backed all of them with the tea stain paper. So you can journal on them a lot easier. And then added more pages of tea stained. Nothing new here. Again, this is the, page, um, the image in the page protector, so it creates a little pocket. New here. It's the story of the oysters and the carpenter. Oh, no. Here is tea stained paper. Um, I cut it out. Alice stuck her there. So I'm going to tea stained paper here. Um, I added a little bit of bling here. And just like the previous cards, I just backed them, all of them, with the tea stained paper. So, uh, let's see. A little bit easier to journal on, huh? Nothing new here. I added a little bit of bling right here. I created tags for the, par for the pocket. Again, deliberately made them wonky. Um, I put a little bit of bling on this one here and on the top. The fibers. And then just go put back in there. Piece of paper, and I made a second pocket because I had a couple more images. A big piece of bling. Tea stained paper. Oh, by the way, there we go. Tea stained paper on the back. And then I added the strip here and big feeling. And then I did the same thing with um, these tea stain paper on the back on both of them so I won't pull them both out. Just leave them in there. And then here's tea stain paper. Oh, this is new. Here is Alice with the flowers, and I just cut out, you know, again, a wonky little tag. There's Alice. Just love it. I think it's so cute. Ah, there we go. And then here's some tea stained paper. And then a little quote. And more tea stained paper. More paper. More paper. And more paper. And I backed this with one of the pages, turned it into a pocket, and I added some bling. Again, an image I didn't know what to do with, so I just put some tea stain paper on it, and I'm shoving it in here for you. Okay. And then this one has lots of tea stain paper here. Nothing new here. Tea stain paper. I'm in little blings on the top and the bottom of the watch. I backed it with um, a page and actually this, a chapter. The chapter says, advice from a caterpillar. And then there's Alice with her caterpillar. Tea stain paper. And I love cute little sayings, or a quote, I guess. And I backed it with tea stain paper, mostly to help reinforce the holes here, so I have gotten a little bit close to edge, and all this is just blank tea stain paper. And then the back page. And this journal is very fat. As you can see, it can stand up all by itself. <laughs> um, poor thing. Uh, I had to get new binding rings, because the ones I had were the, ha um, were the one inch ones and they weren't big enough. 
Um, as you can see, it can barely contain this poor little book. I had to get the one and a half ones. You might have to go and get two inch ones, Carrie. Um, they didn't carry them at my craft store. I will keep looking and hopefully I'll be able to find them for you. And for those of you who are new out there, because I know there's a couple of us that um, are new on this website, but everyone was always talking about fibers and and I was wondering where to get them at. And I would type in fibers on the Etsy store and I weird funky stuff would come up. So I finally figured it out. I went down the yarn aisle um, there at my local craft store, Michael's, and I found this yarn. It had these funky things. And I'm like, you know, I wonder if that's the fibers everyone's always talking about. Well, it looks like it, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Those of you who are starting out there, fibers, it's yarn. <laughs> All right, um, I will send this out to you on September 1st, Carrie, because it already, although it is all done, I do want to um, see if I can find any sorts of fun and odd little treasures for you. See if I can stick them in there. Um, and because <laughs> and because this book is so fabulously wonderful and fat, I'm going to give you all this extra fiber here. So you can use it in whatever project you you want to. Um, just so I can keep this book closed while I ship it to you. It makes it a little bit skinnier. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you very much. Bye.